Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. You're a pretty maid, aren't you? Nothing better to do than watch TV. Feeling a little lonely in the big city. Come and join the party. Call 555-PRTY. For the best party line in Boston, that's right. There are lots of fun people on the line right now waiting for you to join in their fun talk. Only $2 plus toll, if any, for three minutes of party line madness. Why don't you try it? There's only one way to find out what sort of wild people call the party line. <laughs> Dial five double five P R T Y. Hi, my name's Woody. I'm from Indiana, and I. Oh, hi, Mr. Clavin. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, how many times have I walked through that door, huh? Yep. Goodbye, old bye. Take care, old stool. Where are you going, Cliff? Yeah, I'm going in for surgery tomorrow. Who knows if I'll ever walk under God's blue sky again. It's all up to the man upstairs. Vic, the maitre d' at Melville's? <laughs> no, never mind. Um, what, what, do you, what do you talk about? Uh, it took a lot of expensive and complicated tests, Sammy, but uh, they finally found out what uh, that pain was in my abdomen. The experts call it appendicitis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cliffy, come on. Now, that's a simple thing. I had it when I was a kid. There's nothing to it. Yeah. I actually liked having my appendix out. My parents told me I could have all the ice cream I wanted. Oh, Woody, I think you're talking about tonsils. Well, it was a long time ago, Sam, but I'm pretty sure it was ice cream. Boy, I tell you, I've always wanted to skydive. I've just never had the guts. Yeah. What would it feel like? Well, imagine it's not like sex, Sammy. Well, not that I have to imagine what sex is like. <laughs> but I have plenty of sex and plenty of this, too. Why don't you just get off my back, okay? Sammy, you don't believe these guys, do you? They didn't jump. You two weaseled out of here last night, went home, you curled up with your wife, and you got under the sheets with your flashlight and Barbie doll. Come on, Carla, they wouldn't make this up. Oh, yeah? Hey, corn cop. Who, oh, me? No, the other corn cop. Look, if Woody here, who has never told a little white fib in his whole entire life, because he knows that if he does, he'd go straight to H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> Says that they jumped, then they jumped. Now, Woody. <laughs> Did you and your two playmates over there really, really jump out of an airplane? <laughs> Well, we went up in the plane, I remember, because I was there. Yeah? We were very high, and, and we looked down. I mentioned we were in the plane? Yeah. And the people looked like ants, only the kind of ants you can hardly see. What, like did the... you jump? Yes, I jumped the parachute open, I landed. It was all very simple and believable. <laughs> all right, allow me to demonstrate. Now, I'll say a word, and then you say the first word that you think of. No, I'm going to start with you. <clears throat> Over. Under. Inside. Yeah, outside. Bottom. Thermostat. <laughs> <laughs> can make any sense out of that. Uh, I got a saw buck here with your name on it. OK, you're on. It might not be a total non sequitur. Let me see. Um, perhaps in the house what he grew up in, the thermostat was at the bottom of the stairs. Actually, it was in the kitchen. I'll uh, take cash a check. <laughs> no, no, or, uh, well, the, uh, the heater may have been in the, uh, cellar, and so it was at the bottom of the house. No. Thermostat's difficult to spell. Woody was at the bottom of his class. No. Woody, did you turn up the heat again? Yes, Miss Howe. I told you it's too hot in here. Now, if you keep turning it up, I have to keep turning it down. That wouldn't be a problem if they put the damn thermostat in such an awkward place. <laughs> Barely reach it. Sorry, Miss Howe. Woody, I have to hire a 
clown for a children's party. Do you think you can handle the part? Handle the part? I've always wanted to play a clown. You hear that, everybody? I get to be a clown. I'm a clown. I'm a clown. I'm a clown. All right. All right. All right. I'm going on tonight. I'm going on. What do you mean? In your theater group? Yeah, yeah. The lead has a fever of 106. The rest of the cast tried to drag him out of bed, but he kept falling down. I get to go on. <laughs> Woody, are you ready to go? We're going to be late for the kitty party. Oh, uh, Miss Hell, I hate to let you down, but I can't be your clown. I'm, I'm playing Mark Antony. Friends, Romans, countrymen. What are you talking about? Countrymen. People who live outside the city, you know, shepherds, <laughs> farmers, ranchers. What, you can't desert me like this. I don't have time to get anyone else. Well, if this is the chance he's been waiting Butt for. out! <laughs> you are the one who insisted I hire him in the first place. Well, I was merely suggesting... Where am I going to get another clown now? I am ruined, and it's your fault. You're the one who got me in this mess. You owe me a clown. <laughs> well, where do you think I can find one now? Well, Pete Frazier, I mean, weren't you the one who said how much you envied Woody? Well, yes, I did and say that, that, but... clowns do more good than psychiatrists? Well, surely you're not suggesting Yeah, that... you'll be great, Dr. Crane. Stuff's all right here in this box. <laughs> well, you can't miss. Me? You want me to don the jester's motley? It's got to be you, Dr. Crane. It takes a big man to fill these shoes. <laughs> Well, what took you so long? I just spent the last two hours wandering through the streets of Chinatown thanks to your brilliant directions. Why, what? Look for a shop with a dead duck hanging in the window. Yeah? I defy you to find a shop in Chinatown without a dead duck in the window. <laughs> anyway, I got it. <laughs> you are looking at the last ounce of black cardamom on the eastern seaboard. Ooh, okay. Hey, Sammy, let's see yeah. that stuff, huh? Sammy, you really think that stuff's going to help us win the contest? Are you kidding me? Wait till you see what this does to the taste of a Bloody Mary. Ooh, boy, this is pretty pungent <laughs> stuff, huh? <laughs> 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 oh, my God, my allergy. Did someone bring some black cardamom in here? <laughs> Great. There goes the contest. Oh. Well, big deal. In about 20 minutes, I'm going to swell up like a blowfish. <laughs> what are we supposed to do now? Usually, they pack my face in ice. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. It can't be that special. I suppose you're going to tell me that Cheers never made a Bloody Mary this good. Sammy, Cheers never made anything this good. I wonder what's in it. <laughs> Oh, we know there's black cardamom in it.